say hello. Don't forget to tell us what state you're calling in from and welcome to the call. Now we got four, it looks like. Three. In chat. No, maybe, yeah, four in, in chat. Bridget from Michigan, Kojo from St. Louis, Grant from California. I hope you got your, your arm floaties there. Grant saw the, uh, the, the rain happening there. And Eddie from Missouri. And Heather from my former neighbor in Wisconsin. All right. So we already had Eddie from Missouri. There's Minnesota. Tim Clark rounded me out. <laughs> Hi. Can you hear me? I'm John Day. I'm from Olympia, Washington. It's my first Welcome. Tuesday. Welcome, John Day. Glad you made it. Thank you very much, sir. And John is actually caller number 22 after you just read that chat. So... Big Ed Kahuna, where are you calling in from, Big Ed? Uh, I'm in uh, Melbourne, Florida. Melbourne, Florida, right around the corner. Fantastic. Welcome. Florida is in the house tonight. Appreciate that. All right, so let me go ahead and hit a couple of these buttons because we've got to get going now. And welcome to all the brand new people. Thank you very much for uh, unmuting and saying hello and letting the person that got you here know that you made it on. We're recording up there. Yes, we are. We're good to go. So Stacy, you got that big button for me. And uh, I'm going to say welcome uh, to, what was it, 22 brand new folks that just joined the family and the team tonight. It's a wonderful thing to see. We love seeing the growth. We love welcoming you to the family. We love seeing all the different states being represented as well and countries because we've got people calling in from Canada and other areas. So welcome to the RRR 247 team conference call. For the new folks, my name is Niall Eddy. I live in central Florida, not too far from Melbourne. That's why I said right around the corner to Big Ed. Uh, maybe I'll get a chance to go over there and meet him one day soon. Who knows? And uh, uh, I've been in this industry for 35 years now. It's been an incredible life for me. I've, I've, it's, this industry has opened up doors for me I never knew existed. I've known the co-founders of the system that you guys are looking at today for three decades now. 30 of my 35 years have been affiliated with Roy and Tanya Rickard, the co-founders. When I first got involved here, I was a, a young dad who left the construction world to go become an aviation mechanic because I hurt my back really bad. And I went back to school with a wife and three kids. Not an easy thing to do. Um, maxed out my credit cards, emptied my savings account. <laughs> but I got through school. But it was while I was in school, I was introduced to this industry. I was only looking for a way to make an extra 500 or $1,000 a month spoil my kids more on the weekends because uh, they were going through school with me, right? But when a family goes to school, when one person in the family goes to school, the whole family goes to school when that happens. And so I was just looking for a little bit of extra money to spoil my kids because my kids were my entire force. And uh, it didn't take me but a couple of months. I graduated school, went to work at the airport, and I was there for about eight months when I realized this industry could provide me a better life to help me provide a better life for my kids than being an aviation mechanic or anything else I ever could. I walked away from that J-O-B that was 35 years ago and it turned out to be the best decision I ever made because listen, I did get to spend more time with my kids. I then became the dad who got to put them on the bus, take them off the bus, go to every football practice from Pee Wee when football, when the helmet was bigger than him, all the way up to high school. I went to every um, volleyball practice. I went to the cheer camps even with one of my daughters because I had a daughter that was on the cheerleading squad, right? And uh, anything, any reason I got to spend more time with my kids, I was all about that. When the high school needed a bowling coach, I raised my hand and became the bowling coach. Why? Because I could. I had time freedom. I had financial freedom. And I had a great desire to spend as much time with my kids while I could. And before they, you know, grew up and knew everything and moved out. Right. Um, so that's, that was the lifestyle they gave me. It just, it was, it opened up doors for me. Like I said, I didn't know existed. The income was amazing. A couple of years into this industry, I looked back one day and I was making more in a couple of months than anybody I've ever known in my entire life in an entire year. A couple of months, I was making that kind of a salary more than anybody I've ever known in a couple of years. That turned out to not just be a good decision, but one of the best decisions I've ever made in my life. And that allowed me to give my kids the life that I dreamt for them even before they knew how to dream about it, whatever their hearts desired. I could spend all the time what I wanted with them because I had time freedom. I managed my own time. I had I ran my own business and worked my own hours, and I put in I put in a lot of hours. 
but I worked the hours I wanted to. And I made sure I did that around my kids. I made sure I was available for anything that they needed. And I had the financial freedom to take them wherever they wanted to go, take that credit out, card out, we're on vacation and swipe it as many times as they needed me to swipe it, not go home and look at the bill and feel guilty like I did before uh, I got involved in this industry. Time freedom, financial freedom, the two biggest gifts that we can give any parent on this planet. That's what this industry gave to me. But it also opened up doors and allowed me to meet people that I never would have met otherwise. 35 years in the industry, I told you I met the Rickards 30 years ago. When I was a young guy in the industry, I needed a voicemail that could handle a lot of volume all over the country. I was doing the Don LaPree path, advertising in the top 300 newspapers around the country. And we had a mail order program where we were, because we didn't have email, we're snail mailing information to people all over the country. And I needed a voicemail that could take a lot of volume. Everybody told me to talk to Rory Rickards. So that's what I did. I went and met Rory, called him up on the phone. He explained this entire system to me with a lot of passion. It was this young guy right out of high school with a love for mass communication that loved teaching what he had too, because he wanted to help as many of us young entrepreneurs as, we, as he could. He hooked me up with that system. It took all the volume I could throw at it, but he also showed me how I built a network of people around the country. I could put a message on that system and shoot it out to everybody all at the same time, and they could all check their messages once. It doesn't seem like a big thing to some of the young folks today with all the technology we have, but this was in 1992. We didn't have the internet. We didn't have cell phones. We didn't even have beepers back then. But we had Rory Rickard in that software brain of his and that passion for mass communication. So he built, when, when the internet did come out in 93, 94, and we all started putting the computers on our desktops at home or our kitchen counters, whatever we had. But with, you know, remember uh, Yolanda with the monitor that was about this wide, it took two of us to carry it in the house and put it up on the counter. You remember those big old monitors? They look like the old uh, uh, TV sets with the tubes in the back. Yeah, that, that's what we got online. And my first computer was a 286 on dial-up. You know, the, the little music that played while you were trying to hook up to the internet. That's how we got started. But that's when Rory found his niche. He got online. He became the number one guru in lead generation. He built lead generation companies. Him and his wife built the number one lead generation companies out there. And they're still, three decades later, the number one lead generation company out there. Once a lot of them have even faded away and got out of the business. Why? Because they did everything the right way. They nurtured every relationship and they took care of every one of the clients that they had. That's why they became number one. But then what's the next thing us entrepreneurs needed as we're all getting online to build our business? We needed a website. We needed somebody to build us a website that they, that we can send people to, to look at it and explain our business, then reach out to us, right? That's when Rory started building websites. The first one he built, it looked like this. It looked like a legal pad that somebody took a crayon and wrote on and put it out on the internet. It was just a one page little thing. And then he started fine tuning it and using different fonts and made it look really pretty. And before I know it, he was putting a page behind the page, that second generation stuff. And as every time he learned something new, he would implement it and add it to that site. And it just kept growing and getting better every year, every month, every year, every, every five years until it turned into what you guys are looking at today. One site with hundreds of pages inside that main page that all represent different products and services that you get to take to the marketplace. Not a page with one or two or three things that you get to take out there and make a little bit of money. Hundreds of things that you get to take out there to the marketplace and have a positive impact on other people's lives while you're building yourself an incredible business. And this is something we're building for the big picture, the long term stuff that we can hand off to future generations, things that I plan to hand off to either one of my kids or maybe one of my grandkids, because it doesn't look like I'm going to retire anytime soon. I'm having too much fun. So it probably won't be one of my kids. It'll be one of my grandkids. It may even be one of my great grandkids. I don't know, but it's something that we can pass off to them someday. And that's what you're involved in right now. That's who you're in business with. I met Roy the first time when I flew down to Miami, he was attending the same event I had. We went and, uh, had dinner, then we had a you know a drink in, on the beach, watching the sunset in South Beach, is Miami. That's what you do when you're down there. And we just sat there on the beach, watching the sunset, talking about our families, talking about our children, talking about this industry, talking about the future. And I realized right away, this is this guy's got a really good understanding of the internet and how all this stuff works. And his ideas were incredible. And I felt deep inside after looking in his eyes, shaking his hand, and hearing everything he's got to say, he really gets it. 
I don't, nobody else gets this yet, but he gets it. And I don't even know if I understand it yet, but I, I can believe him from what I've seen in his eyes that come out of his mouth, right? And then 30 years later, it all, took, came, it all came true. Everything he said came true. He's got an uncanny ability to predict future markets, future trends, and what's going on out there in the marketplace. That's who he is. After meeting him, I got to fly out to Utah to meet his wonderful wife and our co-founder, Tanya Rickard. I walked in the door, guys, and here's what I met. A young lady raising seven children, running several other businesses, and helping Rory get this thing built and off the ground. Absolutely incredible. The most organized person I've ever met in my life. She, she schedules every minute and every hour and every day, and every week, all year long. And Stacy and anybody else that's been here for a long time, they'll tell you she schedules things two years out. And it's always on time. It always happens without a glitch. And everybody stays on track. And that's what will allow Rory to keep use his creativity and stay on track because he had a partner that that um, complemented everything he did. Those two complemented each other so well that I knew that they were going to become a power couple on this planet. And three decades later, again, my guess was right. My feeling was right. I knew that I needed to be a part of their lives. And not only did I stay a part of their lives or to stay a part of their business, I now call them my best friends, my brother, my sister, my family. I know their kids. They know my kids. We've been around for three decades. And every morning I get up and I still pinch myself. And so does Stacy. And we say, we get to do it. Do you believe this is what we have? This is what we've come to. All the stuff that we have, everything that we get to take out there to the world, to have such a positive impact on people's lives, the products that we have, the services that we have, the things that we could do to reach all over the globe and every country on every continent and give people a hand up everywhere where that's looking for a hand up, do our best to stomp out poverty in every corner of the planet that we can. What else can we do for mankind other than what we're doing already? If there's one more thing that we could do, Rory and Tanya will figure it out. Somebody will get it added to the system so we get out there and touch even more people's lives. These are two people who get up every morning, have coffee, they have a meeting, and they and they they ask themselves the questions: What can we do? What can we add to this system to help Vera build her business better? What can we do to help Sandy uh, make more money? What can we do to help Helen reach out to more countries or touch other people in other countries? What can we do to make this better and help more people? That's their goal. They're true servant leaders, and they are legends, according to Jim Rohn, because they found a way to service the most other people. I love that about them. I'm proud to be associated with them. I'm proud to be a part of this organization. And I don't know how many of you can raise your hand and say, I can't wait to get up and get to work every morning because I love what I do. Yeah, we didn't say that with a, a J-O-Bs, did we? Today we do. I can't wait to get up, get to my desk, check my email, check my text messages and find out who do I get to help today? That's what our system's all about. And that's what you guys are a part of now. So if you're looking for a place, you can build yourself a great business and help a lot of other people along the way and be led by true servant leaders that are building something to last a lifetime for you. And you found your home here. And we welcome you with open arms. Welcome to the family. Welcome to the team. Without any further delay, yes, I want to welcome to you our co-founder, my best friend, my brother, and your all of our mentor, Mr. Roy Rickard. The microphone is yours. Take it away. Thanks, bud. Um, oh, my gosh, you guys. Uh, I, I'm, I'm so glad we do this to bring new people in. But it's also, this is the call where we update current members. Um, today's update's huge. For those that were on Saturday, I, I had some fun, right? We had some fun with some new things. Um, I'm going to go over some philosophy today, and then we're going to go over some um, some awesome new things. You guys hit the button. We got more people coming in. Um, I'm going to uh, ask you guys to get make sure you can write down some notes. I have homework for you that I don't want you to do during the call, obviously, during the training, but after. Um, I actually have specific homework that I put together so you guys will understand where things are going, and um, and I'm I'm gonna put the link in. Actually, I think I'll go to the page. Um, hold on, I'm gonna go to the page. I'll be I'll be reading chapter four today. I'm extremely excited about that. Um, so hold on.
right? This is this this is so it's still so new. I've got to I got to actually I'm going to be editing the pages really quick. So I'm going to give you the homework, and you guys are going to do it later. I'll uh, I'll go edit the page, and and uh, you guys will have it. It, it. it looks great now. Just let, know the alignments off a little bit. I've been guys. I've been pounding to get the new stuff done. Um, what what I like about the the webinars, we, when you guys, when I do the uh, the training marathons, right? That's a deadline for me to get a lot of stuff done because you know we're covering the basics all the time. And then I get a really focus with you guys on where the development's going to go, and it's going to be changing on these marathons because we just we just have technology quantum leap what we do, and it's about to get even better and better and better. And, and today we're going to go into that. I've got a few details here. Um, for those of you that are planning to be there on Saturday, you're going to know how to do this. Then I'm going to we're going to I'm going to really break it down and teach it on Saturday. For those of you that aren't making it on Saturday, you'll be able to catch the replay because I'm going to record it all. Um, but I'm going to tell you being there is going to be extremely way more epic. There is there is um, friction points in all business. And you guys, you guys have heard the saying and I, I, I teach it. I, I, I'm a big believer of it. You know, but, you know, if it was easy, everyone would do it. As an innovator, our job is to make the hard, the impossible easy, because then everybody can do it, right? One of the biggest examples I used, and it's, it's in my book, and it, and it is the laptop computer, right? It was an un, unforeseen thing. I mean, computers took up buildings to operate, right? And then, and then they got smaller, and they got the personal computer, right? And, and this thing's lunky. It's got the big screen. Right. And now we're going to we're going to make a portable computer. Right. And innovators, you know, did it. They were using car batteries to power it. And it was actually the back of a van. All right. And they got the monitor and they're making like a portable thing. And then finally, some guys like, and I think we can make this battery thing last in here. And, and they, they get the battery in there and, and we can get the screen. They, they you know, they're, they're coming up with the, a better way to do it. And and they took something that was, again, impossible and they made it an everyday thing now. Right. And and it's easy. Now everybody, you know, knows what a laptop is and uses it. We take them around. I mean, I mean, back in the day, if you told people they're going to be walking around with a computer, they can do everything that they needed to do. No one would have believed it because they took up buildings, right? Things get better, faster. Technology goes so fast. In fact, technology has been increasing at a faster pace and a faster pace and a faster pace as we progress. It's, it, there, there's quantum leaps of things happening. You know, um, I, I heard something, you know, we, when did we land on the moon? In 1969? That's not right, 1969? And the computer systems to get the, uh, you know, a rocket to the moon, we, we have like 100,000 times the capacity of that computer in our cell phones today, right? There's, there's these quantum leaps that happen with uh, technology. And, and I'm, I'm going to, I'm breaking this down because when, when, you, when you're in a specific industry and something comes that makes your hardest aspects easy, that's a quantum leap and now things are gonna diversely change. We're in that diversion of change right now, right now. And, and in fact, it's, it's one of those things that it's here, it's arrived. Um, I've been playing with it for months. We're gonna continue to really go forward with it, but the rest of the world has no idea yet. And, and I'm going to just go over some things here and what that means. It's the right place at the right time all the time. That's what we're here for. We are perfection in the making for marketing to the world, to, this, this, to, to deliver information and education, to promote products and services. Okay, that's what, we're, that's what we're here to do. All right. Now, our job is to make as much money as we can doing that, help the community as much as possible. You know, I... As, as CEO, I'm trying to make sure we negotiate the best commissions for us because we're doing a lot of the heavy lifting. We have residuals. Almost everything we market, we get paid residually. Not one time like the affiliates of old. Nah, I don't want, no, nope, you're going to pay me every freaking time. Every time you're going to pay me and my people. We're going to get paid every time. We're building this out right. And, 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 and our job is to get the message out there. Right. And there's more and more products and we're going to have more and more things come out there. And we have, we have, Friction points. We have bottlenecks in our business that slow the whole process down. Well, every friction point is getting reduced more and more, and if not reduced, eliminated. 
Okay, we just solved V marketing and the and, and pressure points in that to a tremendous level. Okay, we have we have it so streamlined in the process and how we do things, and, and now our follow-up systems with the vortex, and we're gonna be covering those quantum leaps on Saturdays. Well, we're gonna go into full detail on that. I'm gonna be showing you guys how we put them in there, how we're gonna be driving that. We're gonna we're gonna really spend some time on the V marketing stuff during the V marketing training. Niall does that on, on Saturday. I'll be on there with Niall. We're gonna cover the process again, and Niall's gonna go to work and, do, and show everybody by doing it. That's what we do. Okay, that's that's Saturday. The first part of Saturday, right? We'll take like an hour, two hour break. Then I come on and do the marathon time. And I'm gonna tell you this right now. Yeah, guys, we have this technology. Like this is something that we would hold in, in the old days. We wouldn't have Zoom to go train everybody and do these virtual trainings. This is freaking phenomenal. Saturday, I'm gonna tell you this right now. Saturday's training is worth a lot to you today and the future. It's worth a lot. This is a tremendous thing. There, there is a job description for what I'm gonna be teaching you guys on Saturday that is literally paying 175 grand a year right now. Now we're gonna use it to grow our businesses and I'm gonna teach everybody how to do it on Saturday in a very thorough manner, which would be a great basic starting point. It's gonna get better and better as we do it together. And it's one of those things that we can all do in, in more of a mini marathon, maybe a two to four hour marathon in, in, coming, in, in the coming days and weeks um, as we progress on here. But this is going to eliminate the biggest friction point. So before I go to that, I'm going to pause for a second. I'm going to give you guys homework. Okay. Now, this is, this is ready for today. Again, there's some alignment on there. So don't judge me yet. Just know I will fix it. But I wanted to get it out tonight. It's timing. I need you guys to go through this at least top to bottom once before Saturday. I need your mind right. We talk about Jim Rohn a lot. Jim Rohn influenced Niall's life, my life, Anthony's pal's life. You guys, he's influenced our lives to a great degree. And when you hear his stuff and you hear like, oh, I've been hearing that from Rory over and over again. Well, of course you are gonna hear that. That's one of my main mentors in my life that gave me direction and his stuff is still true to this day. Stuff he was saying in the 80s is still true today because truth doesn't change, all right? Now, there's a big thing that we've done, okay? There are two incredible structures that have been the, the blueprint that I've followed, that Kenny and I followed to build Triple R247 and the structure to support everybody here, okay? Two, two incredible structures, all right? And I'll put the third. The third is experience. The first two, though, are understanding of the Bible, small groups, the way we work together. I didn't need to create all that. People that were smarter than me already put in a, in a game plan on, on how to, to, to create an amazing civilization, culture. It's there, right? We, we take care of everybody. We treat everybody the way we want to be treated. All of that is from that book, right? And I'm going basics, right? And, and we, we, we've been, we've been, led here through God. This is a way to help people. This is what we get to do here. And that book is where a lot of the structure is. So, you know, you look the way we structure things, the way we work, the way we build teams, the way we, you know, work together to rise everybody up. It, it's, that's, where, that's where those teachings came from for me. Okay. And Tanya, and, and we put that in there, right? And it, it just works. It makes sense. It's, it's logical. And, and it's, it's just, well, it's, it's the way it should be. It's utopian. We rise everybody up. We, we, we take care of, as long as people are willing to show up, we're going to make sure they learn everything. All of that comes from that. The next thing is teachings from mentors and Jim Rohn and, and the way that he teaches how to succeed, how to have your mind right, how to, how to do all that is, is a very solid structure. So the homework I want everybody to go to is rrr247.com forward slash Jim hyphen Roan. That's J I M, that little dash R O H N, Jim Roan. And I've picked some of uh, some great YouTube recordings of him. And um, he, he, these are things that I listen to all the time. And I'm, I actually, I, I put them, I put them down there. And you'll listen to the teachings and in the organization. And I'm going to tell you that 
that those links, those ones that are there, and he has a bunch of others, all great. But whenever you're feeling like, oh my gosh, I, this isn't working for me, I can't do this, just go listen to those. It'll put you right in the right mindset. Have a bad day, go listen to those. You know, it's, it's good to repeat the stuff over and over again. And garbage in, garbage out. This is gonna be solid training in, and it's gonna put your mind right. And it's all still truth today. Well, the structure that he talks about, how to do this, how to build this way, how to be a leader, all of that is absolutely built into what we call the flow, into what the, our, our training processes for the instructors. It's how it, it it's, it's truth. And, it, and instead of just learning and, and, and letting everybody learn from the experience of time to do it, we've already done the experience of time. The system is built that way. That's why I say just follow the system. We already, it's all figured out. Everything is built to those principles that Jim Rohn teaches. So when you listen to what he says and you're following the system, the protocols, that it's going to make absolute sense because it's shared truth. I've just had some amazing mentorship. Who's and Jim Rohn had an amazing mentorship. You know, it's unbelievable. We get to share that technology. Only we get to do it in in sessions. I mean, it's it's too bad he's not around today because he would definitely be on our Zooms helping. He would absolutely be here. I know it, and he gets to be through us, and we get to listen to his recordings, and is they're still timeless. They're timeless. And the system we're working on, the systems and the technology we have today delivers what he teaches. That's how we, that's how we operate. So if you listen to his, what to do, you, you listen to his advice, the stuff he's teaching, that's what's built into Triple R247. That's what's built into our instructor processes to train and duplicate. That's what's built into our leadership. It's all built into it. And in, in me reviewing and, and, and listening to stuff, and also, you guys know I'm, I'm in there with you guys. I'm teaching students just like you guys are. I'm working with students just like students are working. Like, I'm, I'm hands-on, and I always will be. Here's the thing. Um, I'm in simplifying things and getting rid of friction points. So session two on Saturday, you guys are going to be able to see a brand-new session two that's an easier up-to-date with our current stuff that's there um, for everybody to understand and how to go forward. It's It's... It's definitely reduced in time. And, you know, I'll put a big, huge uh, shout out because this, you guys, I, when, you, when you have a student that understands it so well that when they explain to you how the system works, it puts tears in your eyes because they get it. That's a special moment. That's a special moment for a mentor. That's a special moment for any teacher. And Jackie did that. And, and so that's a, that's, a, a, that's a steady part of our, our, our session too now. And I listened to it again last night and I was just like, Man, I, it's working. That the, the, the conveyance of how this works is working. And that means it's going to be passing on to more and more people. And, and, and that's, that's a great friction point to overcome. You know, because when you get students in, brand new students now, you guys, it's never been this good. It's never been this good. And getting people into making money and profitability is really important. And the ease of getting that done. But, you know, we've had this amazing friction point. And up until recently, there wasn't any way to really fast go faster than what we had. You know, I've eliminated the pages that we needed. Um, you know, so when you guys are working on a new system, it's about 67 pages. I'm working to uh, update the basic ones that we use now. And we're going to have the core ones. You guys, we have, we have situations where we have vendors come and go. We have things that are trending that don't trend anymore. And, and then we, and, but we got to have certain content and things. So, I mean, there's kind of been a moving target. Well, as we've been building this vision, Everything we have now, we can fill up a lot. It's, it's pretty, pretty awesome. And, and so, you know, you're going to be seeing some updates on that. And the next time we do a um, marathon, most likely, I'm going to be using what I teach you guys on Saturday to do a brand new setup from start to finish. And I'm going to beat my 16-hour time by a lot. And that's pretty fast, um, but it's going to be the friction point. So, um, I'm, 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 get, I'm going to get to it here in a second. Um, so I got, I'm so excited to show you guys this. If you were there Saturday, you saw it. If you saw the replay, you saw it. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to break it down even more. And uh, the, a new version just came out. And I, I've got to explain some things to you guys. Um, and I'm going to speak in a very – I'm going to go basic. And, and I hope if, – and if someone doesn't understand this – um, I'm, I'm going to ask you to raise your hand because I need this point to come across. And so I'm going to use an analogy and, and then I, and I need this point to come across. Okay. Um, 
back to technological advances. There's quantum leaps in it. There is a functionality that we do that'll never go away. All right, and we need to know what that is. We need to know how to do it. We need to, you know, you know what's our future like, right? This is a legacy business. We're gonna have to adapt. We're gonna have to change, new things come out. Look at any industry. If it can be automated, it's going to be automated. At some point it's going to be, because it gets rid of labor costs, it, you know, it, 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 it helps justify the competitive, you know, means, you know, when you have a capitalism marketplace, you know, if you're adapting, you're going to win. If not, your comp competition is going to adapt you out of it. That's, that's the nature of it. That's why we're constantly progressing and getting better. So, and, and I, and I've really been recollecting on things and, and some of you um, will understand what I'm saying. You know, I learned to type on a typewriter. Okay. Now, as great as that typewriter was, there was a limit on how fast you could type because the keys would jam together. And I could type so fast that I would lock those keys up all the time. And so I had to literally slow down because the, me the mechanics wasn't as advanced as a user. Then comes word processors. And now we don't have mechanical moving parts. We have electronic parts. Now I can still type faster than the cursor can move. I, could, I had to stop and wait for the memory to catch up. I was typing faster than the CPU could keep up. So I'd go slow. Then the Pentium 100 came out and I couldn't keep up with it. Unless I had other things going on and then I could bog it down. Otherwise, I mean, quantum leaps, right? Now, it, you know, you have to really be towing out your system to, to slow it down. Progression, right? And, oh, and it's, it's even far past that now, like it, it just is. And, but because I could type so fast and I kept working on my skill sets as the technology advanced, I was able to keep advancing. I was able to do more, understand more, right? And I've been thinking about this because nothing's changed, it's just getting infinitely faster in the technology. You know, I, uh, I was, I was, <laughs> I was on the phone with, with someone today about this, but you know, I used to have like those big floppy discs, like the five and a quarter, and then they got smaller and smaller and smaller. And, and now we don't even carry those discs around. I mean, even the flash drives, you don't really carry around anymore. Um, it's all on the cloud, right? And, but you know, it used to take forever to save something. It used to take forever to do things. And it was still faster than pen and paper, but it was still safety. And then it got quicker. And now we don't even think about it. We hit save and save. We don't even think about it. Things just get better and faster, but the skills to learn along the way were better. Those that were involved when it was slower and it got faster and faster, we just adapted, but we had a head start because we already understood the logic. We just knew when it got better, we got better. Our efficiencies got better. Our skill sets were better because the equipment we were using got better. So same things happening. You know, our, our tools are our computers, our keyboards, our, our, our mouse, you know, our cell phones. Those are the tools of our trade. And the more efficient those become, the more efficient we can become, or the more, the more we can get things done and we don't have to wait for delays and we can be more effective in, in what we're getting done. The delay in performance blogging is the time that it takes us to come up with the pages, the time it takes to build the content. Content creation is, I would call it the crux of our business. It's, it's the friction point that has always just been, hey, that's how it is. We have to build it this way for this reason. Well, that friction point's gone now. That friction point's obliterated. And those of us that know how to do it the, the traditional way are going to have no problem adapting. Those that are brand new are going to have a little bit of a challenge adapting, but not for long. Not for long. And it, it's going to be a matter of sessions. The number one reason we have people quit here, I call it suicide your business, is they get complicated. They make things more hard than they need to be as far as the content and how to modify things. And, oh my gosh, I got to go through all these pages. And you're like, well, it's not that much. We used to do 300, right? Now we do less and get things going and we get, you know, and, and get it out there. But we look at our time value and we got to build those pages. We got to build the content, but you guys, I, I'm just going to break something down and I need you to understand this. If it works for me, it's going to work for you. It's a system. And if I figure out the, the, the direction of this page and how we got to write it and what the product is and how we're going to represent that product, the thing that matters the most is we got a product that's going to hit the categories of people that we're marketing to. The right product for the right people. That's what matters the most. 
then how we say it and how express it, yeah, that matters next. But if we don't have the right type of thing to market, it doesn't matter how we say it. It's got to be something that's going to be in demand, something that people is going to be able to change their life with. That's the most important part. Well, because we're all going to be marketing the same products, right? We're going to get a really good idea of what that is, and we got to be able to modify it. Well, if we modify in the right way, we now have a system that basically does it for us in seconds. Seconds. We can literally build pages in minutes now. So the time that we spend building content is reduced to a fraction of our time. And now we can spend time in doing ad posting, content delivery. And I'm going to tell you the day is going to come and we might be testing some things already that makes that even more automated. If it can be automated, it will. And until it can be, people are figuring out how to innovate it. Because what we got to do is make our time as valuable as possible. If we got to do massive action, how do we make that happen faster? Right. This is why we have autoresponder systems, SMS responder systems. This is why that vortex is priceless, because when we're feeding stuff into it and it's doing all this follow up, we have unlimited potential of that. And we don't have to manually send anything out. And we have it professionally be delivered through a paid service that we have text doing the hard work to make sure it gets delivered. We just got to feed it. That's why that vortex is so important. And we're going to cover that on Saturday. If you have the Vortex now, you better be loading stuff in that Savings Highway Global Program. That's, that's our first point of entry in that system now. We loaded it up. And we're going to be covering that. If you, don't have, if you don't have leads and stuff to go into it, we're going to be covering how we're building landing pages for it, how we're doing everything else on Saturday. But we're also going to, you guys, Tanya and I fund your marketing. You need to get busy with it because we're going to teach you how to make that happen in a minimum way. We're, you guys, things are changing and we're going fast forward in, in, in aspects where things that took a lot of time are taking less and less time so we can get more of it done. It makes us more productive for the time we have. Now it's about prioritizing our time and spending time in the areas that make the most sense for us spending time and the things that need to get done that we can eliminate with technology, we're going to. We're going to automate anything we can automate. And you guys, quantum leap time just happened and now it's up to us to, to teach everybody. You know, and those that have, here, here's something that, um, that is amazing about gritting things out. The, the MSIs and the GSIs and the PSIs, everybody that's been here for a long time and building this up and helped a lot of people build pages, they've been building a skill set on the art of performance blogging that is now worth even more money because we got tools to make that more effective. The learning experience they've had, the experience part of it for the last several years just became virtually priceless now because they're going to know how to utilize this better. The analogy I want to give is building a house. And, and, and Niall, you, you got a construction background from way back yonder. And, and I'm, I'm doing this just because um, I'm, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to speak, speak out the story of it, right? Um, and, it, and it has to do with skill versus just the, the, the automation and the mechanics of the tool. So you guys know what a hammer is, right? You guys know what a hammer is, okay? Um, and a hammer is a great tool, but you guys know that there's a difference of people that experience with a hammer and someone that just swings it every now and then. And I've seen carpenters throw that hammer like nobody's business, not missing anything, throwing nails in straight and solid, just like freaking efficient as all get out, okay? Seen it. Right. And, um, and I watched it with my uncle's company and I was amazed at some of the skills they had, like, and I'd be going and I'd be doing my best, but they were just smoking me because they'd been doing it. They're experts. They had the muscle memory. They had the know-how, they had the knowledge. Okay. Then they have these just impressive, um, they're, they're putting on an air compressor and they're just shoot the nail out. Right there. And there's this, chit, 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 right. And, and it's even faster than the fastest guy that can nail down. But the guy with the skill on how to nail is so much more effective with that tool than a new guy. He knows the angle has got to go in. He knows where it's got to be placed. He's not going to destroy things along the way because he's got the experience to use a tool. And even though it's going faster, he, his wisdom and experience on where to place it means the difference. Does this make sense to everybody? So what I'm going to give you guys a glimpse of today that I, that I opened up last Saturday, and I'm going to go into a very thorough to get everybody up to speed with it this Saturday, is just like that. Those of you that have been working on the art of performance blogging and rewriting things your own way and how to do all that stuff, your skill set on that 
is going to make this even better for you. Now, if you're brand new, you're going to learn how to do it this way too, but don't, I'm just going to say, this is one of those master events. But like when you see me dance around on it, it's because I got all the skill set built up from doing it the hard way and perfecting the hard way and getting the muscle memory and the, and the practices and the patterns down. Now, what I'm going to cover is going to change the way we do things. It's probably going to change the way our hosting works. This, this is going to create all sorts of additional, I would call them business hurdles we'll get through. And I'm going to tell everybody, just make sure you stay patient. Um, I, I was going over the, the, my expectations on this. We're going to have systems. We're going to have people here that have thousands of pages on their PBSs now. Thousands, not just hundreds, thousands. We are going to hit the realm where we're going to be able to cover so many different topics and content. We're going to be able to cream. Oh my gosh. We're going to be able to just, just have the cream of the cream out there. We're going to be able to dominate and the rest of the world can do it too. We just have the skill sets to do it. So this is, this is what I wanted. I'm going to say this. You're going to hear me say it now. Content has always been king. I've been marketing through content marketing since 89. Yeah. I started in direct mail. Absolutely. There was no internet, right? There was magazines, um, mail outs, postcards, booklets, um, newspapers, flyers. There was physical things, paper. Everything was, you know, there was nothing digital, right? And you had to pay money to have that ad place that would get delivered. People would open up and read it. I mean, it sounds archaic when I say it now because I can't even tell you the last time I picked up a newspaper. Right, I, I, I don't even like when they drop it off at the hotel now because it's like, I, I know what I want. I have the stuff fed to me. I'm happy, right? Yeah, card decks, Scott, absolutely. I remember card decks like no other, right? That's my thing is we, we marketed that and, and that was content. And you got to be a really good copywriter to get people to like read it and get it and get the message across. That, those skill sets made me better when we went online. Those skill sets helped me improve. So now we went from a quantum leap of spending money to put it out there the internet where you could basically build it for free, drive traffic to it, pay traffic, but your, your, your speed to the person was instant. I didn't mail it to you, wait three to five days to hope that the mail will arrive and you opened it up and got it. I'm delivering at the speed of the internet, the speed of light, right? And, and that was a major quantum leap. But you guys, I kicked competitors' butts because I'd been doing direct mail for so long, my skill set was already there. Other marketers came in and do it. I already had the backing of doing it for, gosh, 15 years before 95, like 15 years of experience. Wait, that's, I had five years of experience. Let me get back that up. I had five years of experience when the internet came out. And those five years were solid five years. M mastering copy, I'm gonna get my math off. And that was, that was in 94, right? By 97, when more and more people are on the internet, I'm now at eight years of experience, only now the copy is understanding real-time responses and adaptation. So by 2001, when I was really dominating in the lead generation space, I had all that experience of that time. And by the time, you guys, there was a lot of people that weren't, they were still marketing on newspapers. They, they weren't buying in the internet yet. So by the time they joined the internet, I already had another, what, six years, seven years on them. I had seven years on them by the time 2001 when some more saturation came in. I had seven years on them. So. It, it was at advanced time, all right? So there's 12 years advantage. And, and, and that's, that's experience you just, you, you can't just get it overnight. It, it's something you build by muscle memory and use and practice. So 2001 continued. When we launched this, there's massive changes that happened in 2007. Performance blogging is born in 2008. The performance blogging system was born in 2008. Performance blogging, I, I've been doing literally since 97. But the performance blogging system where it was on one domain, 2008, it wasn't possible before that. And internet things and things are changing. And, and so that's 2008. We've been performance blogging system people since 2008. Okay. That's how many years is that? That's 15 years. There's my 15 year number. 15 years. 15 years in performance blogging systems. 15 years of experiencing success through disseminating information and getting SEO content, getting um, keyword content and, and ad link posting going on. 15 years of experience. Guys, that's a lot. I'm not, I'm not, that's a lot. And all that experience and knowledge 
adage, what I'm going to show you today is why we're going to kick some butt. And here's the, here's the other reason. By the time other people figure it out, we've got thousands of us that are going to already be out there with, with the content out there, the know-how to do stuff out there and pushing stuff out. You can't, you can't beat time like that. You just can't beat it. And that's why we're in the right place at the right time to deploy it. Can you imagine having, I'm, I'm going to put this out there. This is, this is about action and taking action and the importance of taking action, right? You guys, you guys, how many, there's so many people that have great ideas. And a great idea is one thing, but it's not going to make any money. You've got to execute that great idea. You've got to find a way to produce that new invention, that new concept, that new idea, right? The idea, doesn't, the idea by itself without execution doesn't mean anything. Make sense? It's, it's just an idea. There are lots of ideas without execution. There's tons of ideas without execution. Could you imagine with, with what I'm about to show you guys, if Tammy and I didn't take action to build this and build you know, our incredible marketing family, because we now with the tools I'm gonna to show you, we are even more of a freaking marketing threat than we were ever before, because this just increased our productivity maybe a hundredfold. And the ripple effect of that means we're gonna bring more people in, which is gonna increase even more. So by the time the rest of the world understands what this is, we've already got it covered because we were ready for it when it came. And now, now that we've already built this structure and we're adding this, we gotta run with it. And time you can't get back. We're already gonna be into the entry point. People are gonna be talking about this and what it could possibly do. We're already gonna be using it. And we're gonna be using it to, to, to massively get out there. And it's already been something that's taken us years to get to a point where we can deploy something, we break things as it is now. What do you think is gonna happen now? Because we are gonna be just dominating in, in this entire marketing space. Okay, Char Hess. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring you on for just a second. I, I, I need to. You on Saturday? Yes, I was. Okay. You, you saw when I brought out the chat program, right? I did. Well, I did. I was listening, but I was working on me. So I know. <laughs> I, I want to, so I want to have you on here today when I do this. Okay. Um, I also want to, um, I want, I want to have some comments on this and I, I want to bring this up here really quick. Um, when we started building the memes out, that was so people didn't spend time building memes. Takes a lot of time, and yeah. Consensus marketing. We want to have the same look and feel. By the way, those freaking um, gut health ones, those biome ones, Stacey, I love what you did on yours. You guys, they're getting hits. They're getting traction. It's you guys, we're on the right path, okay? So that, that was us doing a quantum leap of things to be smarter, right? Um, you know, Char is delivering those memes and popping those out. We got the system refined. Um, th there's, there's other things we're going to be teaching you guys that now we can because of what this is going to eliminate time-wise. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let you guys know, know something. You shouldn't miss any training. But we're going to be having a special um, training episode. It'll probably be a Saturday. Um, and I'll go over the time. It's, it's somebody that's part of our family. And... Um, He's, he's figured out how to use this program in incredible ways. So when you, take, when you take people that understand marketing and give them a tool to make their job better, the thing about it is, is we come up with ways to really blow out of marketing. Well, now we get to teach our entire marketing family here at Triple R247 how to do it. We literally can unleash thousands of experts on it and develop it out there. Nobody else has what we have. There's no one else has a marketing network like us. And we're going to be utilizing this. So, so I'm, just, I'm going to tell you guys, there's going to be a training coming up. We need to get ready for it. So I want everybody to understand this program and get used to this technology. And, and then we're going to be utilizing it to do other things, to bring more traffic in. And we're going to be able to do it in a way that anybody here can do it. And we'll be able to duplicate it in consensus style. Now, that being said, our memes, the artwork we have, is that's, that's, we call those digital assets. It's an asset to create a campaign. It's, it's, that's the terminology in the marketing world. Those digital assets are very valuable in the stuff we're going to be teaching. It, it, it gives you a professional image to move quick and get that stuff out there. If you're building content and it's taking all day, you're not going to be able to deploy it. And that's what we got to avoid. 
So if something is taking too long, we have to find a way to automate it. We got to find a way to remove the labor that's intensified to make that happen. Okay. And so we have ways to do that. I wish I could teach you guys all this right now because I know what it'll impact. We're going to go at a pace that everybody's going to catch up on. We're going to build a training module so we can teach the future of this as well. So, you know, people that are coming in every day. Um, but I'm going, to, I'm going to just walk you guys through this. This, I'm going over the time. Um, I don't, okay, uh, I'm going to, guys, you're putting the stuff out there on the memes. You guys, we have a ticketing system. Get with your instructor. Have them file the tickets on stuff. If, if you don't have your memes, put a ticket in there. We track down everything. We have a pretty amazing system on it now. But guys, ticket system. And you guys, we have an instructor process. I'm going to just speak on this. We're getting, we're getting bigger, faster already. Okay? The more people that succeed here, the bigger the buzz. We have a solution at a time the world needs it. And I'm going to tell you, I got to tell you a couple of things here that's reality. What I'm going to show you guys on Saturday. I don't have time to show you tonight. I don't. I'm looking at the time. Because once I get into it, I don't want to shut it off. It's addictive. What I'm going to show you guys on Saturday revolutionizes performance blogging. It makes it so easy now. So easy. Be there Saturday. Make it. Make it. Um, okay, I'm going, to, I'm going to go into this. There's a ripple effect from this programming. With Quantum Leap technology, Jobs are literally erased, eradicated, eliminated. Things are going to be obsolete. They don't even know they're obsolete yet. It's a shift. Doors shut on things. New doors open up. There's a recession. There's all sorts of changes happening. We have an amazing solution. And guys, making money here got better than it ever did before in ways you guys don't even know yet. GSIs, PSIs, MSIs, we're, we got ways to start making their, their incomes add zeros to them on the, on the paychecks. And, 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 and that if the more they can make, the more we can train it down and get going. Our marketing reach is getting so vast. These changes make everything here so much more worthwhile and the speed to profits bigger. All right. This is why I'm spilling out a whole new session too. It's simpler. And I'm releasing that on Saturday. So you guys all got homework to go study the Jim Rome page, study that, listen to those, listen to them. And if you ever feel like you want to like, suicide your business, go back to the Jim Rome page and listen to it. It's timeless. Listen to it. And you're going to hear them give advice on how to do stuff. Then you're going to see how we structure things and go, they kind of have it. It's right there. I better just go do it. There is nothing here that we can do to, to hurt you. All we do is help you. If you don't succeed here, it's because you didn't do the work. You can't, you, you cannot put blame on us for anything. We've given you everything but you doing the actual work you need to do to be part of the family. That's it. I'm proud to say that. That's always been the vision to get there. This has been a long time coming. And when you see it all formulate and all come together, and then something like this gets released, oh, we are at the right place at the right time for sure. And now we got more opportunities coming to us. And now we can roll them out quicker because we can literally have a Saturday session, roll out a new thing, kick out content like crazy, go kick out ads like crazy, kick out, you know, and, and, and start pushing that stuff out there just like I envisioned it only quicker. Um, okay. I'm going to. Yeah. Yeah. Andy, I, I'm glad to bring that up there. We've been, I've been using this program. I've been using it since November and there were some issues with it. There's issues with the AI stuff. I'm going to tell you whatever you think, you know, just come Saturday. I've been testing this stuff out before we do it. Come Saturday. Whatever you think you know, come Saturday. We'll talk this stuff out. There's a changing platform. I've been on Google um, communications about some changes and things that are going. There's massive aspects of things going on. And, there's, and whenever there's big changes, there's going to be hearsay. There's going to be rumors. There's going to be rumors of rumors. And then there's going to be the reality. All right. And then you also got to know what we do and how we market and, and how it works with Google isn't like a lot of other topics. There is, there is a certain way to do things, right? Remember, like I said, I, I know how to use this hammer in the right way that we're not going to destroy the wood. That's what we're going to teach. Okay. Now, um, 
Yeah, you guys, if you use the hammer wrong, you're going to destroy the wood. You'll crack it, you'll split it, right? This is my analogy for you. If you learn how to use it right, then it's going to be awesome. And it's going to save you time and not waste money because you destroyed wood. Nobody wants to get banned on Google. Nobody, because it's a lifetime ban. So there is set rules on doing things. I'm going to cover that on Saturday. I'm also going to tell you this. If you're looking for a shortcut, there really isn't one. There's just an efficient way to use the tool. The reason why there's a shortcut is because we have a tool that's going to help us do what we need to do in a quicker manner. It's not a shortcut. It's just efficiencies. The other thing is you still got to post ads like crazy. And if you're not doing B marketing, you're missing out on the biggest reach that we have. And we're automating all that aspect and the follow-up. You know, we got the tools. You guys, that Vortex system is phenomenal. You guys are going to see it working. And, and the long-term effect of it is, is you guys, I'm, I'm, I'm in heaven because my wish list as a marketer has all been met. And then technology has come out to make things even better. Um, yeah, Carly, you also bend nails. And we don't want to bend nails, right? Because then you got to take it out. You got to massage it. Maybe you got to, you know, like all that stuff is what I'm talking about. If you don't use a tool right, it wastes time. Same analogy with this. Exactly. Only we use a keyboard and, and, and so we can, you know, we got to be really careful, right? Um, here, here's, here's the thing. I'm, I'm going right to the hour. I'm going to go do, I'm going to, I'm going to go do, uh, I'm going to, I'm going to go read chapter four, which I'm so, I'm excited about a lot of these chapters, but four is a fun one. Um, and so we'll take a small break and come back and I'll do that. Um, I, I have a couple of things I need to cover. So I'm going to go to that right now. Um, how we set up in things is important because sometimes we set things up and people are going to lose out on um, incentives, rewards, and, and the perks of marketing. So it's, it's really important that we cover that. Um, there is a promotion going on for March and, and it's all month long. And I'm going to say, I, I would jump on it right away. Um, and some people don't know what it means. And so I want to, I want to spell it out. I'm probably going to spell it out on Saturday too. It's super important. Um, and, and I'm trying to get clarification on it because if, if you, I think if you rebuy the, it's based on the ambassador pack. So Niall, is it, is it for, I gotta look at the, I gotta look at the terms. This is a crazy promotion that I don't think people understand. It's one of those things that's so good but if you don't understand comp plans, you don't understand what it means. Okay, so this is a promotion that they do. Um, they've done it at, at two events. And, and they did it at the event, and we got twice the reward for it because they wanted to incentivize us to go to work, and, and it allowed us to pay for the entire event. It covered literally our hotel and airfare if we did it right. This covers the product, so you get the product for free. And, and then some, I think, when you add it all up, and by doing the work. So it's it's an it's a crazy incentive. The company absolutely lose money. It's it's a it's definitely acquisition, but also when somebody's set up the proper way and they've got the residuals coming in, you're you're teaching either they're part of the pattern of growth. So that's that's why they do something like this. And and I'm gonna explain what it is. You come in at the ambassador level, it, it has to be the ambassador level. And I can't, if the new people, I think, have to buy the pack. I can't remember the rules on that, Niall. We'll look, but actually, and that ambassador pack is like the best value ever. It's freaking jam packed. Uh, the, you get like three tunes, um, at least three tunes. You get, you get like a bunch of tunes. It, it might be five. It's crazy. You get a bunch of tunes, and you get, you get two boxes of the product. They're out in the biome to it, I think. I don't know if I haven't seen the image yet. But yeah, the pre-assembled pack. Okay. And and I think, and I got to find out if it's a pre-assembled pack. I don't know if existing people can get this Nile and then buy the pre-assembled pack. I was trying to follow up on that. They explained that to me, but I went to try to buy one and I couldn't see if it was there. So I was kind of curious about that. Yeah, he's pulling the screen up. So you come in the ambassador level. Well, first of all, it's the best value. You get the most bang for the buck for the product. Then they give you 10,000 BV in your strong leg, your team leg, okay? Now, what that means is you, you know, you only need one person to qualify on the one side. You need to, you know, you want to have a, um, what's it called, an associate where they've got one on the left, one on the right. You want to be, 
you know, building teams of two, right? And we, we, that's what we structure here. We build teams of several, right? We build teams. When you get 10,000 volume points, we get paid on cycles, okay? Now, what happens is that affords you to be able to go work on your weak leg, which we then call the pay leg. And now, for every, and the, and the way the compensation plan pays out, it cycles 400 on one side, 200 on the other side. So four and two. That creates a $30 payout. There's other bonuses and stuff as you grow, but just focus on the 30 bucks. Well, if you got 10,000 on the one side and, and you start building, usually you have a pay side that's the weaker side. Well, that weaker side, because of the way the comp plan, it pulls the points from the, from the best position for you. So it doesn't take 400 from the weak side. It takes 400 from the strong side for that 400, 200 cycle pay to happen. It's all about building volume on the left, volume on the right. The more volume you have on both sides growing, the more you get paid. That's, that's, the, that's the analogy. But as you, you're going to build on both sides. And odds are you have one that's off balance because you have a team side that's growing. All right. I, I have a team side that it, it's maxed out at 5 million volume. It's awesome. That means everybody in that team is maxed out of 5 million and we all just got to max out the other side and it's freaking off to the races, right? That's, that's what we get to build here. That momentum is real, okay? Well, if getting momentum, it's about getting some speed, right? You got to get the friction. The hardest part of momentum is starting, starting. That's the hardest part. It's discouraging. It's hard. If you've never done it before, it seems like you're not getting anywhere, but you are. You get momentum, you're building, you're learning, you're, you're figuring things out. You're going to get better and better as you keep doing it, right? You're going to get knocked down and get back up, get knocked down and get back up. Every time you go through adversary, that word, every time you go through a hardship where you, you, you then have to overcome it, the whole act of overcoming it gives you that experience and growth. We become better through trials. We don't become better through success. Success is a reward of pushing through. Then we're going to get another boundary. Nothing happens without trial, and, and that's why they call it trial and error, because you're going to have trial and error, and you get through. How did you learn? Trial and error. That's how you learn. It's, it's friction that we overcome, right? Well, even getting your business going, friction to overcome it. So we're building, right? Well, when they give you this jolt of 10,000 volume on the strong side, and you start building the pay side, every 200 volume, you're getting a cycle. So as you're just helping that team grow and team grow as you're learning, you're getting paid even quicker because not everybody has that big pay side yet to go against. And what happens is you build that momentum so that your weak side, which is normally the side that's the hardest to get going, can get going. They give you a kick in the butt that if you follow through with it, it's going to pay you back even more than that. It'll give you the product basically for free. 10,000 divided by 200, right? 10,000 divided by 200, I believe is 50. I know I'm right, 50. 50 times 30 is $1,500. You're gonna make $1,500 faster than you ever would have because of that and that promotion. What's it cost to be an ambassador? Pretty much 1,500 bucks. That's why it's done that way. You do the work, we're gonna give it, we're gonna give you, we're gonna repay you back so you got in for free and you, you, it was off, it, you got profits and product is free. It's a reward to help you kick off and get going because once you get past that and momentum's going, Bellavita knows, Costa knows, I know, odds are you're not going anywhere because you learned the pattern, you know, the business, you got the belief of the product, you got people doing it, you got customers, you've got momentum now. So they usually do it like at the conventions and they, and they give us 20,000 because they know we spent thousand on airfare, hotels, right? And it helps offset that. And we all get to get more product or the new products is out there. So we get build up the inventory. It helps us to get rewarded. Anybody that understands how to build a proper sales force understands if I can make it so the sales force is gaining and not having expenses, we win. How do we, how do we make that happen? That's what these promotions are for. And they happen at key times. And, you know, and we just got biome. We just got, you know, a, a new product to add to things. We, we've got all this stuff that's there. And we got the tunes and, and you know, the tunes, puppy dog. Them. You, guys, you know, I saw all of them. I put it on somebody. I, I, uh, I, the one that I, you guys, I did not want to give mine up, but I didn't have new ones. And I, and I put an, I was putting an order in and I forgot to put this order in. And, and so Tanya had to wait because we're going to a new place. This guy needed it more than me. And I, he'll be on our call here soon. He's, uh, they're, they're, they're getting the products. They just got back from travel. So I met him traveling and, um, 
he, his wife sent me a thing and says, Rory, he has not taken it off once. He really feels like it's helping and he loves it. And we just thank you so much for, you know, you know, sharing that with us. Cause I, I, I sold it to him off my neck. Okay. And, um, he, you, you guys, his movement was just like this. And when he, when he, when he put this in his hand, the tune in his hand, not this one, the one he has, he, he went over there so much it cracked his back. It was, it was, and, it, and you can tell in his balance, it was really bad. And then with that, he had more balance and stability. He, there was no way, he did not want to give it back to me. He, he's like, I, 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 this doesn't make sense why it works. It does, but it doesn't. But I don't want to give it back to you. I can tell. And so I was just like, you know, I know Tanya's not to give me hers. And so I ordered 10 right away. Now I know if I order 20, it's a way better deal. And um, I'll order 20 from now. So as I go around, because these are things that people need. This EMF thing, it's only going to get worse. They're adding more and more things. I'm reading the updates of technology that's being released. Every one of it's going to increase the amount of EMF. And gradually, it's been breaking us down. This is something that, you guys, we're in the right place at the right time. Doesn't mean that everybody understands it yet. Doesn't mean that everybody's on board with it yet. That's why Ascension Marketing is key. We put it out there. We put it out there. Right? You know, they're going to hear about it. They're going to be, oh, my gosh, Rory, Rory has those. I, I should talk to him. That's why we do this. Here's a link. They can go and buy. Yes, we, we, know, we know we're at the right place at the right time of things. And even the best ideas don't, don't just take off with everybody. Look at you guys, you know, it took people a long time before they had a PC in their home. Now we have several. You guys, I remember people telling me the internet was going to go away. Government's going to shut that down. No way, that thing's too dangerous. Mm, didn't happen. Didn't happen. I can, I can tell you there's going to be things. And this program and this AI stuff, it scares people because it's going to put a lot of people out of work. It's going to put a lot of businesses out of business. They need to adapt. Go do something else. Find a way to make it work. Technology, this is coming whether we want it to or not. Here's the difference. Um, okay. Here's the, here's the thing. We already know how to do stuff. We get it to launch. We get to run with it. After Saturday, we're going to be dangerous already. By the time the rest of the world even knows about it, we're already going to be mastered it. We're going to be experts at it. We're going to have a lot of hours of use. Time is an experience that they can't catch up to. That's awesome. We were set up, guys, because we've been doing this hard content. Because when you do something that other people won't do, and you become very good at it, when something comes to make it quicker, because here's the rule of life. If it can be automated, it will be automated. Pretty soon you're gonna to go to McDonald's and you may not even talk to a person and that burger may be just made by a machine and kicked out to you. Anything that can be automated will be automated. It's progression. You can't stop it. It's, it's, it's against human nature. We're gonna make it better and better and better. You know, the horse and buggy was said it was never gonna go away. I haven't seen a horse and buggy except in a tourist attraction pay to ride things. They're gone. Cars are everywhere, right? They, you know, it's, it's amazing the, the, what, what, how people don't like change. You know what? People don't like to adapt either. Only innovators like to adapt. I'm excited to adapt. I've been doing the hard work. You guys, you, the hours I've spent blogging and building content, doing things that others said they just couldn't do, wouldn't do. Now it's automated. Are you kidding me? Oh, we're going to tear this up. But the skills I got along the way are going to give me that huge advantage. You know, uh, I think you can go over all, all, all sorts of professions, but well, I'm going I'm to say this. I'm going to go back to this. Marketing. You can't automate marketing because they need somebody to get the message out. They need somebody to share the personal experience. What we do, the core of what we do can't be automated. The functionality, the, 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 the tools and the ways we get out there can be, right? Social media is, a, is an automation of getting the word out, right? It, it enhances some of the things we do. Those of us that already know how to do content love that type of stuff. Well, we're, now we're, we're going to be able to kick out content like crazy. 
Oh, and you guys, I wanted to say this, as great as this is, what do you see the other application this creates for us to do even more reach as marketers? You're going to get even more legs of marketing from this that you guys have no idea yet. It's going to blow your mind. And I want to make sure you guys are ready before we do that. So I'm telling you how great this is. And I'm telling you, there's even more coming. All right. Um, okay. A um, couple of things we'll cover on Saturday too. Um, savings Highway Global. We have people getting paid now. Make sure you go into your settings. Make sure you set up your your um, your option to get paid through Bitcoin or pay quicker. And if it's through pay quicker, they're going to send you a debit card. Well, once they once they you get paid, you're going to get an email that you got paid. Click on that email. You can go set up your pay quicker account. You can then do a transfer, add your bank account, and you can actually have an ACH to you instead of get on the debit card, which I highly recommend for most most of us. Okay. And then, that, then it's deposited in two days. You get paid Wednesday, you go request it, it's paid to you by Friday, so it keeps our cash flows coming in. We have a midweek pay and we have an end of week pay. Most of our stuff pays on Fridays. That's a Wednesday pay. Um, you guys, we are, we're only a couple weeks into that and it's cranking. You guys, if you saw the metrics on what I thought it would do, we are so on point with that. Now, when we add that to the Vortex system and our way we do our marketing, that's a very marketable product. We just have to say the words right. And we're going to be able to do that in mass. Saturday is going to be off the freaking hook for training. It's going to blow your mind. Um, and it's also, if you want to, if you want to like have some fun, invite your friends, invite your family members and say, do you want to, there's something really massive going on. You might want to come see this. It is going to blow their mind. Do you know how many people have told me of uh, blogging? That is so much work. Well, I'm glad I did it. That so much work has given me an amazing lifestyle. But that hard work just became super easy with my skill set because of what I'm going to show you guys on Saturday. And um, oh my gosh, you guys, I, I still want to show it to you. Um, right, I'm going to I'm going to stop this. I'm going to pause for a second. Um, I'm going to go fix the Jim Rohn alignment and that'll give me a pause and then I'm going to come back on here and read my book. Um,